question, we're given that x is equal to the following. Sex squared y plus tan y show that dy plus x is the following. Immediately, because you realise x is the subject of the formula, because we have it in the form x equals, you should be thinking, I'm definitely going to use the dy by dx is 1 over dx by dy rule. So tell the examiner what you're doing. You've got x is equal to a sec squared y, which is sec y all squared plus tan y. And tell the examiner that you're going to differentiate with respect to y. OK. Now, um, there's two different parts of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you've got your formula from the formula booklet, formulae that you need. And it tells you how to differentiate sec. And it tells you it, how to differentiate tan. So we've really got everything we need. Now. This part here, I'm just going to show you what rule I'm going to use here. This here is a chain rule. So what, what this is, is this is some this is y is equal to some function of x to the power of n. So how do you differentiate the, that? dy by dx would be you bring down the power, you differentiate inside the bracket, and you reduce the power by 1. Okay, so we're going to apply this to the first part here with our function uh, being sec y. So dx by dy, the first thing we're going to do is bring down the power of 2. We're going to differentiate sec y. Now looking at our formula book, this, is, this would be sec y tan y. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the power of the original by 1. So we're going to have a sec y to the power of 1. And then we differentiate tan y, and the differential of tan uh, x is sec squared x. So we're going to have plus sec squared y in this case. So this is going to equal to 2 sec squared y tan y plus sec squared y. And obviously what we can do then is um, factorise out the sec squared y. So this is sec squared y, 2 tan y, add 1. Now looking at what we need to prove, we've got our 2 tan y add 1. Um, and we've got a sec squared y, which it looks like is 1 over cos squared y. So this function here, so our dx by dy, we could simplify this as uh, 2 tan y, add 1, all divided by cos squared y. The reason is because sec squared y, by its very nature, is 1 over cos squared, which I can put on the bottom here. And then dy by dx is therefore 1 divided by dx by dy. So dy by dx would therefore be the reciprocal of this, which flips it, which would be cos squared y divided by 2 tan y add 1. And looking up at our question, that's exactly what we've been asked to prove for four marks.